right guys so I thought I'd just share uh, my new order from Kylie Cosmetics that just arrived today and um, I just opened it to have a quick look and um, I've been playing with the eyeshadows um, and I did a few swatches as well uh, so basically they have got brand new packaging to go with the birthday collection and I ordered the I Want It All palette and I ordered a lip gloss as well so we have all of this to try out um, so I'm very excited because there's a really good weight on the eyeshadow and the blush um, blush highlighter combo there's a gorgeous little mirror here as you can see it's really really cute the packaging very 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 glittery uh, I'm going to do some swatches for those at the end so as you can see I'm wearing the colours right now so they're I was worried that this uh, palette was going to be too pink because I'm not a really big pink person um, but as you can see from my eyes like they look natural you can get a really nice natural look from them um, the highlighter is a little bit warm I'm wearing it right now um, and the blush is kind of like it's not the best it's not very pigmented but you can get a nice little look from it um, and then we have the lip gloss so it comes in this kind of cute little packaging Again, to match the birthday collection, this size all glittery. You've got this lovely, like, matte pink kind of color. So, I'm just gonna try this straight onto the lips so you guys can see it. Now, I've had a few um, of Kylie's lip glosses before, I've never had a problem. I think that the product is fantastic, it's really thick, and um, it's almost like a lipstick, but like a glossy lipstick, it's very pigmented. So, I'll just swatch this quickly to show you. As you can see it's quite highly pigmented um, when it goes on straight away you're getting a lot of colour and I didn't line my lips because I just wanted you guys to see what colour it is um, on its own I was told this was going to be like a pink colour I think it's more like a warmy nudie kind of peachy colour I do really like the shade more than I thought. I thought it was going to be very um, pink, and I'm not a big pink fan. But as you can see, it's really nice shade. It really suits me, and I'm like warmer toned at the minute. So that's the gloss, um, and then what I'm going to do now is I am going to swatch all of these, and I'm going to show you those um, in a minute. So basically, um, we have the highlighter, which I'm wearing, um, and I'll just swatch that here. As you can see, it's a really nice and warmer highlighter, but I can see this definitely working in a lot of different uh, skin tones. Um, if you're a little bit more tan, I think this will suit you a little bit better. Now I'm just to swatch the blush as you can see the blush there's very very little pigment in the blush it's more like a little tint than anything then we go on to uh, shade midnight and I like that they have the colors um, right underneath this time like on on the palette before it wasn't so now it's easier for me to read easier for me to know what I'm using so this is the black as you can see it's a nice pigment you would probably have to build that up yeah as you can see it's swatched very nicely now that I've done two little layers and then next we're gonna go into celebrate which I have on my eyes I have it on the crease very nice and creamy but not too like runny they're very easy to blend easy to build up this one's a uh, 1942 which is an absolutely gorgeous very like brownie tone which I think a lot of these tones are going to work with different colors we have new year new me which is like a purpley pink tone that's like a metallic shade as you can see absolutely gorgeous the new black which is a pink such a cute name we're going to swatch this over here very very vibrant pink as you can see 
very very nice color I don't know where I'm gonna use that um but I'm gonna try it I'm not a pink lover I know you're probably thinking why did you order this palette then but I mean I had to have it another beautiful pinky tone called forever young this one's a little bit more um powdery <sighs> like I've noticed on my palette when I swatched it it kind of uh, left a little bit of powder in the palette, but it's not too bad. This one's called Party Time. Really gorgeous color as well. Uh, Buttercream, I think, is the best. It's a transition color, and it's it's probably one of my favorite colors in the palette, just because it's like just really plain and creamy, and like you can just use it a lot. Like it's one of the more usable colors in the palette. And then lastly is Birthday Color, Birthday Girl, which is another metallic tone. Um, no, my favorite favorite ever um, uh, eyeshadow palette from Kylie is the Burgundy palette. I've used all of her palettes, and everyone's saying this is very similar. It's when it's swatched, it's not similar at all. They're a lot like brighter. They're a lot more vibrant. They're I think they are a new pigment, like, but they're almost like better one. And the last one was really good, so that is to tell on you something. Um, lastly, just going back into the packaging, you get this gorgeous mirror. It's really heavy. Um, I have no complaints about the packaging at all. Very, very cute, all glittery. Um, and it's really cute. Like if you can get your hands on any of these products, I really would try it because as I said, um, very good pigment, very good quality. Now I did get hit with customs, which I think was about 20 or 30 pound. Um, but even at that, I really don't mind paying it because I just think the products are really good. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought of the products, if you thought they were any good. Um, and have a, if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.